Well, just to button up your other point, I don't think, because you're talking about creativity, you know, creativity is not, I think there's this, there's this underlying thing in, in, in the music world or in, in the journalistic world or in, in the sort of, you know, this whole thing about like, you know, if you're a rock band, then creativity is limited to writing songs. You know, I don't think that, you know, I think that there's so many other ways you can be creative. So it's not, of course, songwriting is a, a significant part of it, but it's not the only part of it. So if you look at the last couple of years between movies and rainbow songs and festivals, bad festivals and Lou Reed records and um, I guess we never really talked about the battleship thing, but um, you know, there's been a um, world record setting. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, between in his books. You know, it's not like it's not like it's not like we're in ACDC like time off. You know, that's the point I'm trying to make, and right. that's kind of what you know the whole thing about the movie, which I just heard myself talking about all the time. And I guess everybody else did it. It's just not limited. You know, between Lou Reed records and you know, if you just take a thing like that Rainbow thing that we did, I mean, that was a, a pretty significant inspirational creative undertaking, which was a lot of fun, and it gives you a chance to get close to some different music, some different approaches, some different arranging, it inspires you, it all inspires mm -hmm. you. Of course, um... And it's going to a good cause. Yeah. So, um, yeah, go ahead. No, but so I'm just saying that, you know, this whole thing about that there, I, I guess, I, I get kind of bugged when people sit there and go, you know, you're not being creative. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? We're always creative. We're always thinking. I mean, we're being creative right now, sitting here and trying to come up with different yeah. ways to communicate with our fans. I okay. Think. Well, let me be a little more pointed in what I'm asking then, and say when it comes to writing this record, I mean, I know that the last next record. year, the, the, the next record, this record, show, I know that there was talk of it happening in 2012, um, and then there was a little thing that popped up in the middle, which was the movie that kind of stopped it. I mean, I just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, which we will, I do want to talk about the movie process as well, because I think that was just insane. I don't think it stopped. Well, I don't, it stopped well, I don't know. Nobody knows. So I'm asking, and what I'm asking is, you know, when you approach the writing of this next record, you know, what do you anticipate, as we sit here on January 21st, what do you anticipate will be different? Will you be taking on some of the lessons from, say, the Lou Reed project of, Ooh, let's just do it, let's jam it, let's just, you know, let's do this as quickly as you can. Will you be taking the Deep Purple tribute inspirations? What what will come to the table when you guys get, you know, solidify the riffs that you've got and start putting them together? And have you discussed it? Is there any trepidation of putting it together? Um, is there any, is there a, a little fear of putting it together? I mean, these are, I think, the only, that we, the, the only thing that the four of us battle, I think, is time. It, it's just it, if you have to if you have to find something that that is, is is the communal thing here. It's just it's time. You know we we I think the well the main reason that we function so well as a band is that we also function so well not as a band. Do you know what I mean? So the fact that we all have that's our a, lives. That's an interesting point. No, but the yeah. fact that we all have our lives, the fact that we you know we all have ups and downs in those lives, all of us, but. Uh, you know, it's what sort of keeps us alive, and so you know the fact that we have found these balances where we can, we can be in the band, we can be out of the band, we can be in the band, out of the band all the time. It never, it always feels like there's a, there's it's there's a, a, a it, there's a, enough freedom to kind of come and go, but there's also enough, um, it, there's the right balance between you know sanity and you know what I mean. It never feels like it sort of runs a Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's because I think the balances that we've made for ourselves. So, you know, when we were not knee deep in the film last year, uh, Rob James and I were in there uh, probably six weeks worth last year yeah. uh, and working away. Um, Having a great ass time. I mean, it was like turning on that creative switch I don't think it's that difficult for us. I think once we get in that zone, it's uh, it fires pretty hard, you know. It's uh, I think the hardest thing is 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 turning it off sometimes. So that's a blessing, you know, to be able to to still have that enthusiasm and that spark to make new music. You know, it's there. I mean, I I, I think if we went out on the floor right now, we could jam something out. That's a, that's a pretty cool thing. Mm -hmm. 
I agree with Lars a lot on the balancing of time. I mean, it is true that we've all, over the last, especially five years, <coughs> embraced a lot more the fact that our families are really important and our kids are going through stuff. And it's not, it's not one of these, okay, I'm shutting the family off, I'm going to work now. We're we're in a we're in a unique career <laughs> where uh, it can be tough to balance those two, and you see that some people like you know, Garth Brooks or somebody they just stop. Okay, my career's stopped until my kids are raised, then turn it back on again. <clears throat> He's fortunate enough to be able to do that, I guess. But for us, if I just shut this off. I'd, I'd go insane in my family life. I mean, they they complement each other, they help each other. So finding the time to do both can be difficult. When you've got four guys and then you have management trying to book festivals and book things and whatnot, and okay, here's, here's the kids' schedule and here's uh, my schedule, they got to match up somehow. Um, and then when are we going to write the record? You know, that's a that's a good point. Life, family, takes priority over most of that stuff. So it's difficult when they don't match up. Um, but the other beauty is we have a HQ here. It's such a great thing to have that some people don't have. That we can just, okay, you know, as stupid as it might sound, Here's my briefcase of riffs. I'm off to work. I'll see you tonight, you know. And you get home like almost a regular dad. Where you show up in here, here and you're right. And then you go, I gotta go, you know, pick my kids up from school. And then you go do that. So we all embrace that and we're all in love with the fact that we can do that. And be there for our kids and be there for us as creative artists, you know. Do you think there's ever going to be a time during this process, and I'm asking you to look at the future maybe a bit, where you're going to have to say, hey, as great a model as this is to have, we're probably going to have to lock ourselves away in a place, away from HQ, away from that comfort zone, and really fucking force it. Do you think that's going to happen? Do, do any of you anticipate nope. that? Or you know, it's, 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 so, it's so early, you know, in, in the process. I mean, we have said, we have said, oh, we're going to do it this way, we're going to do it that way, we're going to do it this way, and do it that way, and then d done it totally, completely different. But we're you know? so in the process that it's not, it's not a, it's not, it's, it's just a decision that happens. It doesn't, you don't say, okay, guys, guess what? Now, from this time to this time, we're, you know, in a haunted mansion in L.A., and we're going to finish the album. You know, it's not that. When you've got to that point where here we are, wow, we got to drive this thing home now. If everyone's into it, it just happens. Mm -hmm. but, I got, but, I, but I mean, I, I guess I have to ask after, you know, I mean, we are looking at, you know, we're going on, what, six years, five years since the last record. Oh, is there a point? Oh, has it? Is there a point? <laughs> Seven years, bro. Is there, is there a point that someone which, said to me? So it's just really? like it's literally seven years. Has it been seven, seven years? No. We need to, so, so getting younger. I mean, younger. I'm not saying it is going to take it, but hypothetically, if this album took another 14, 16 months to come together, you would be fine with that. Oh, if it took another five years, we're fine with it. If it I mean, took 14 it takes, months to get together, I'd go, fuck <laughs> yeah, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> which well, does, that doesn't matter. Okay. The fact that we're doing it, how we need to do it. Our families are intact. Okay. Our band is intact. Our sanity is intact. That's what's. That's what matters. Great. When the art is done, the art is done. Is as simple as that. Excellent. Well, I have to say, I'm, I, it's nice to hear that.